Hello, I'm B. Mills-Abub, and welcome to my channel. I'm sure you all remember the short video series I did with the Bible Belt Atheist, where we went through the bite model to see if the Catholic Church qualified as a cult, link to the playlist in the description below. But what we didn't answer was if we believe the Catholic Church was a cult ourselves. The bite model is a great tool for a more universal answer, but we didn't give our personal opinions in the series. So I'm going to give you my personal opinion today. Do I think the Catholic Church is a cult? The short answer is yes, but hopefully the why behind that answer is more captivating than the answer itself. I think it's because of the church's goal to make its followers dependent upon the church rather than independent thinking people who care about what is and isn't true. As I'm sure you all know, I have a series on my channel here called Criticisms of the Catholic Church, and my go-to source for information every time is the Catechism of the Catholic Church, a book I often refer to as the big book of doctrine for the church because it outlines just about every stance the church takes on any given topic. And most of the time, it involves an invasion of privacy and decision-making. Whether we're talking about the decision to get an abortion, artificial insemination, death with dignity, or the decision not to. The Catholic Church admittedly does this more subtly and less forcefully than most recognized cults, but it does it all the same. A church that would love it if parishioners stopped paying attention to secular news outlets that reported on abuses by the clergy and kept to Catholic sources of information that are, of course, going to be more kind to the church. Why do you think the Catholic Church produces the catechism for parishioners to get a hold of? I personally think it's with the intent of controlling the information they get about the church. The Catholic Church can even inject itself into your thoughts. If you remember my video talking about the scapular, this little thing right here, that would be one way the church has of getting into your thoughts. An uncomfortable piece of jewelry, for lack of a better word, that reminds you to be a good Catholic. Not to mention Pope Francis's words before the Vatican sex abuse summit began, and I quote, One cannot live a whole life accusing, accusing, accusing the church, and that people who did were the friends, cousins, and relatives of the devil. If that isn't a call for victims to shut the fuck up, I'm not sure what is. A church that instills traditions and practices in people's lives I haven't been a Catholic in over 10 years at the time of this recording, and yet every time I go past a Catholic church, it crosses my mind to do the sign of the cross as I walk by or any time I hear the siren of an emergency vehicle. I don't actually do it, but the fact that I still think of it should show how deep the traditions and practices take root in many practicing and former Catholics. So any criticism of it can evoke a strong emotional reaction. While the Catholic Church may not qualify as a cult under Stephen Hassan's bite model, it would seem to qualify under mine. I'm not sure if you noticed during the video, but I have mentioned behavior, information, thought, and emotional control. The difference between my model and Stephen Hassan's is that I require less force to be involved. Because the Catholic Church does try to enforce its doctrine on its followers, it just does it more subtly. And that's the case, at least in the developed world. So I'm going to ask everyone who lives in areas other than North America and Europe, where the Catholic Church's ability to command compliance has diminished in recent history, and tell me what life under the Church is like for you in less well-off areas. I'd like to make a video on this topic in the future where I read the comments I get answering this very question. 
My Twitter DMs are open if you don't feel comfortable publicly posting a comment here on YouTube, and I'll edit out your name and your at when I make the video. But before I let you all go, the Bible Belt Atheist is making a video explaining his opinion on whether the Catholic Church is a cult or not, and will be uploading it hopefully this coming Sunday. So keep an eye out for that. But that'll do it for this one. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and click the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload a new video. If you feel so inclined to help me out, consider giving to my Patreon, where I intend on having either private hangouts or live streams every month for patrons. Or get me something from my Amazon wish list. Every little bit helps, and every little bit is greatly appreciated. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, linked below, to keep up with all my comings and goings, and join my Discord for a chance to talk to yours truly. Take it easy, everyone, and I will see you all in the next one.